pelleter, ça fait partie de la vie canadienne. Avant de vous habiller pour aller pelleter, enlevez votre manteau et faites cet échauffement pour éviter la blessure. On commence cet échauffement avec les cercles de bras, petit, petit, petit. Alors on étend les bras et on commence à faire des petits cercles vers l'avant. We're going to start by doing arm circles with our arms going forward. Small, small circles. We're going to warm up the muscles that we need to go shoveling. On va réchauffer les muscles qui qu'on a besoin d'échauffer pour le pelletage. Let's go in the other direction, dans l'autre sens. Ok, pour éviter la blessure. We're going to avoid injury by warming up the muscles that we need to, as well as shoveling is one of the leading causes of heart attack. We got to raise that heart rate a little bit. Ok, on va augmenter un petit peu l'abattement du cœur pour éviter euh, les crises cardiaques. Let's open and close the arms now. Hug, hug yourself. On fait des câlins, on ouvre et on ferme et on cherche le maximum d'amplitude de mouvement. Excellent, grand, grande respiration. Puis on fait les en haut en bas. Et encore une fois, on cherche l'amplitude maximale. Maximum. Et on va shell, on va chercher. On va to switch between two languages, it's hard. We're going to look for as much range of motion as possible. Nice job, everybody. All right, good. Now let's do big arm circles. On fait des grands cercles vers l'avant. Et 3, 2, 1. Les grands cercles dans l'autre sens. Nice job, on secoue les bras un petit peu, shake out the arms, wrists, I want you to make wrist circles. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, et 10 dans l'autre sens aussi. 7, 8, 9, 10, other hand now. One way, dans une sens. 9, 10, let's go the other direction now, dans l'autre sens. Très bien, on recourbe le poignet et on retire aussi avec les doigts. Et on va bend that wrist back and pull back on the fingers. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let's switch face down now with the palm. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Tennis to the other side now. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and down. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's do some low impact, high knees. Make some fists and don't drop your knees on, uh, don't drop your fists onto your knees. Lift your knees up to your fists. Okay, on veut élever les genoux jusqu'au point. C'est ça. Grande respiration. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Standing toe touches. Three steps and then kick. It doesn't matter if you can reach your toes or not, just keep your legs straight, okay? On veut garder la jambe tout droit en amenant les orteils le plus haut que possible. Comme je dis toujours, on garde ou on cherche l'amplitude maximum, la pleine amplitude. And more, five more I should say, four, three, two, 
one. Nice job, everyone. We're gonna do something called Kang squats now, which is a mix of a squat and a good morning. Okay, we gotta open up that posterior chain, seeing as we're gonna be lifting uh, using that technique. Okay, so hands behind the head. Main en arrière de la tête. On envoie les, les hanches vers l'arrière. We're gonna send the hips back. Okay, rendu dans une position où on sent dans les skis aux jambiers. When we feel it in the hamstrings, we're gonna go down to the bottom of our squat. Then we're gonna stand back with our uh, head still forward and then squeeze the glutes to stand. Okay, on veut contracter les fessiers pour nous relever. C'est parti. One. Let's do 10 of these. Back up and stand. Two. Down. Up. Stand. Three. Back straight. Keep that core tight. Four. Okay, practice for when you're gonna be lifting that snow. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Make sure you're feeling it in your hamstrings. Nine. And ten. Nice job. Next up, we're going to do some single leg Romanian deadlifts. We're going to keep one leg straight. Et on va envoyer l'autre talon vers l'arrière. Okay? So keep, we're going to balance on one leg. If you need to balance on something, hold on to the wall or something like that. That's totally fine. But we're going to send our heel back. Making sure that we're keeping our balance, we're going to go down to about parallel where our leg and body line up, and then we're going to stand tall. Then we're going to switch legs. We'll do five on each side. Two. Okay, on veut garder la torse et la jambe qui se lève tout droit l'un avec l'autre. Five. Je tiens ma torse pour euh, pour rassurer que je contracte. Mais si jamais vous avez besoin de l'équilibre, sortez vos bras sur le côté. Okay, I'm putting my hands on my stomach to make sure that I'm contracting my abs. But if you feel like you need more balance, arms up to the side. Make sure that you're balancing. Ten. Or this might be nine. I'll do one more just in case. Boom, 10. All right, nice job. Next up, we're gonna do some lateral squats just in case we're getting into lunging motions or could be slipping on the ice, something like that, okay? So let's do this. Wide feet, deux fois la largeur des épaules, two times shoulder width. We're gonna sit down towards one heel, sit down to the other heel. We're gonna look for as much range of motion as possible. Let's go. One, two, three. Feel it on the inside. Four of your legs, your adductors. Five. It's okay if your toes come off the floor, but keep your heels down. Seven. Eight. Gardez vos talons au sol, même si vos orteils lèvent du sol. And that's ten. All right, everyone. Throw that coat on. You are ready to shovel. Mettez votre manteau et allez pelleter.